Welcome back to the DFS Sweatshop. I am your host, the DFS Jerusalem, and you can follow me on Twitter at DFS Jerusalem, bringing you my core four plays uh, for 11 25 uh, in the NBA DFS slate. Uh, what we're going to do, I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, the core four process, how I come up with it. Uh, if you notice, I split the video up into a couple different sections uh, because leading into the next slate, we had that break uh, going in uh, Thanksgiving. Of course, hope you all enjoyed your Thanksgiving. But what we did was uh, we went into the, the, we did a recap of the games, did a uh, player pricing analysis, kind of got a read on where everybody was as far as tiering our players so we could develop our, our, our player pool in our head, maybe about a 30 player player pool, so that when we listen to podcasts throughout the day, we won't be taken too far off of our bases. Uh, and from there, we went into the point totals. That's where we really got a chance to look at uh, the specific matchups and game flow, seeing how guys were going to be uh, working with each other. We saw uh, the injury reports as it comes out. We are sticking close to Twitter, finding out who is going to be um, in, who's going to be out. So I've come up with a core of players that I really like, and I'm going to be starting every lineup with these four guys uh, on today's slate. Now, just because I'm starting every lineup with them, it doesn't mean that they're going to end up in every lineup together. It's not what it means. It just means these are the safest plays that I can see that's going to return 6x value for me. You can come up with your own core. You don't have to rock with mine. But just make sure that you keep a steady base of players uh, that you are rolling out on today's slate. You don't want to be all over the place and rostering everybody and not winning anything. The more players you roster, the less money you win. Unless you got 150 entries and then you're a shark and I don't fuck with you. So anyway. Let's go ahead and jump into uh, today's core four. The first play, and probably my favorite play on the slate, is going to be Giannis Antetokounmpo. At 9.1K, we are looking for him at the 6x value to get about 54 points is what we're looking for from him. I see an excellent game in store for him against the Toronto Raptors. He's pretty much, uh, him and Jabari Parker is pretty much the only uh, mode of offense that is going to be rendered in the game. Plus the guys, uh, he, he, he rebounds, he plays defense. And he, and he plays well in consecutive games. If you check what he did back-to-back -back last year. When he play, when he had one good game, the next, good, next game behind it was a pretty good game. I remember uh, not being on him for three or four games because I just couldn't believe that he was that good, and he was. So, uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo is going to be starting off the list at 9.1K. Uh, he is averaging 49 points over his last three games, so that's a pretty good base to start from. The next player we're going to talk about is going to be Chris Stapps Porzingis at 7.7K. Uh, the price is up on him just a little bit, but for what he does and the matchup that he's in, I think we're going to see a really nice return on our investment in Chris Stapps Porzingis. Now, to make value, we need him in the 40s. That's where we need him. Uh, he's been averaging 38 over his last uh, three games, but in a up-tempo, high-paced matchup against the uh, Charlotte Hornets, this is a 211-point uh over under, really nice total. Uh, I really think we're going to see a good game from Chris Stapps Porzingis, and that's why he is in our core four. As I said, he's averaging 38 over the last three games, so that's a pretty good floor for us to work with. The next uh, player we're going to talk about is going to be Jaleel Okafor. Now, I know some of you are scratching your heads. I got the feeling. And I like him today. Uh, we, we got word that Joel Embiid is going to be out. We also know the team has been a little displeased with uh, Rashawn Holmes as of late. So they've got kind of got nowhere to go. But uh, the first round pick from a couple of years back, and it's jo uh, Jaleel Okafor, he's going to be matched up against Robin Lopez. If I had to put him up against anybody to do well, it would definitely be Robin Lopez. Uh, he's going to see a ton of minutes. He is not he's not going to have any minutes restrictions. I like Jaleel Okafor, and at the 4.3K uh, depressed price point, I mean, we need him to do very little to return 6X. I mean, if he goes out and scores us uh, 25 points, that is 6X. He is probably probably the safest play of my core four. I love him at that salary. Plus, we've got a few other uh, 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 value players that are going to be open up throughout the day as far as injuries and scratches and things of that nature. So I like uh, Jaleel Okafor. The last play... Uh, to round out the core four is going to be Eric Bledsoe. Eric Bledsoe is in a plus matchup, in my opinion. He's going up against uh, a up-tempo, fast-paced 
Minnesota Timberwolves team with Ricky Rubio at the helm, uh, running the point guard. He's at 7K. The price is down just a little bit on, on him. He's averaging 44 over the last three, and I really think Bledsoe is in an awesome uh, spot today. So my core four today is Jaleel Okafor, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Chris Stapps Porzingis, and Eric Bledsoe. Get them in there. Get them in the lineups. If you don't, just make sure you develop your own core, and no matter what you watch or listen to today, do not, do not let anything take you off of your core your core four plays. And remember, I am your DFS Jerusalem, and we always keep it 300 in the sweatshop.